hey everyone i just wanted to say thank you so much um for all the comments all the support is crazy it's absolutely insane it makes me makes me want to keep doing this um i've been spending a lot of time doing it it's all pretty fun so yeah thank you all right with that out of the way let's introduce what the heck we're doing in this guide so what we're going to be getting is a plus 10 weapon or the, just the upgrade material to make it plus 10. Uh, ghost glover level 9 uh, about 72.5k souls and uh, infinite invasion item and uh, some other stuff I can't really remember right now that's uh, I'm a little behind so what I did there was I just talked to him and um, yeah you can really talk to him at any time I talked to him right after killing Godric and here I'm showing that if you don't really talk to him right away um, you just kind of progress through the game forget about him like you should he will disappear and he'll tell you to go to the Rose of Church. So there I marked it on the map with the beacon and I just cut away to it. Um, now we are gonna talk to him, maybe, maybe, hopefully. Um, there he goes. So <laughs> anyway, we're gonna talk to him. We're gonna get five uh, cracked red eye orbs basically, or just the freaking severed fingers and we can invade. Um, not just that we can invade, we have to invade five times. Um, I don't think you exactly have to use the ones he gives you, you know, because it shouldn't matter. You can get them in other places, I believe there's a merchant who sells them. So, invade five times, um, I'll cut away here after the invasions. I did one, uh, I did all the five, there's only one that was pretty cool, might upload it separately. So now he, uh, he's like, wow, real cool, bro. And he gives you a piece of toilet paper. What you do with the piece of toilet paper is you have to uh, dip it in some blood that has to be made in blood. Where do we go to get made in blood? Uh, we go to four belfries. So I mark it there on the map. And you can really go to any grace. I'm going to cut here. I expect everyone to already have that unlocked, know where it is. And just, it, yeah, I'm just, I made so many cuts here just so I can save some time. I don't, I don't even want this to be like 10 minute video. I think 10 minutes is way too long. I don't want you guys just skipping through the video. There's what's the point of you skipping if I can just cut it away, you know? Same thing. I don't have to ramble on for any longer. So anyway, we come to the last belfry here. Try to dismount. Um, open the chest and we're gonna get the imbued sword key. And then we're gonna go to this belfry. You can also get that grace if you don't already have it. You probably should, or you probably have. But um, we're gonna go to this belfry and we're gonna put it in the stone midget's mouth. And that will allow us to teleport back to the starting location where we're going to beat the, the starting boss, the Grafted Scion. <sighs> Jesus, that's a lot of talking. In case you already haven't. Um, you, if you have, just, it's fine. You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, I poop on him a little bit here, he poops on me, but it all works out in the end. Um, I am showcasing this weapon that I am going to, this is a little bit of a... This is a little bit of a preview for a video that I'm working on. Um, it does involve this weapon after killing only one boss, and it is uh, pretty exciting. It's it's gonna go over so many things, and if you guys are trying to start a new playthrough, it will get you through with uh, the best start. So I'm pretty excited to post that. I hopefully get that done today, tomorrow. If, should be by the end of tomorrow i'm not sure um just really hard so here we get naked so we can demonetize real quick and we're gonna go find the maiden and uh dip dip our toilet paper in a period blood because that's exactly what he wants us to do he's a weird guy but it's just uh just what he likes so can't can't really do anything about it we do get a great item from him so it all works out in the end so here i'm gonna cut away you're gonna go back to him to the rose of church um, he's gonna be impressed, uh, he's gonna sniff it, lick it, uh, bite it, and here, it, I, I, like, what is he doing here? I was so confused when I first saw this, he grabs my hand, and he's doing some sort of jutsu that makes me moan and orgasm. So, whatever this means, even if it means popping my cherry, it is necessary, because we are gamers, we don't care about our virginity, so... Now, what the heck are we doing now? Oh yeah, so we completed everything. We get the medallion, we get the infinite invasion item. And now we're going to skip his dialogue because he's useless now. And we're going to teleport straight to that place. It is an end game place. Every enemy here is going to be nuts. 
So don't try to fight anyone. Um, mount your horse so you can dismount your horse. Elementary. And um, we get the map from this guy. And then we're going to keep running ahead. I'm not going to do any cuts here. Because uh, I don't even know half the people even know this place exists. So we're just going to run through it. Get the grace in case you die. Uh, you probably respawn on the Statue of America anyway. But it's fine. Just get it. And um, we're going to pick up some runes. Um, yeah. I don't really know what else to say here. This is... Oh yeah, and you get a smithing stone 7. In case you guys wanted that. It is only one copy. I've never even tried to upgrade regular weapons. Because they go up to 25. And I'm just like, okay. I'm not about to farm for that. Anywho. The turtle shield is amazing. Um... I recommend you guys using it. It's absolutely nuts. So, yeah. Um, I don't really have anything else to say here. It's just, just running through enemies. There is a merchant here that I'm going to run by. Um, I'm not sure what he sells. So, you, you guys can go check that out, I guess. Um, another thing you could do is in order to progress that guy's quest line because you do end up killing him so here we got the rune that's going to give us like 50k souls it's absolutely insane it is a legendary rune i think because it's orange or something anyway so here's the ghost glover at nine if you guys like upgrading your summons and you have multiple summons because i know there's a several amazing summons like the mimic tier which is absolutely insane uh i think oleg is pretty nuts too i haven't tried him personally but yeah here we go so we get this grace, and I am going to use a throwing knife here to bait the guy out. He's going to be guarding the chest, which does have our upgrade item in it. So if you don't have a throwing knife, don't have a bow, crossbow, whatever, to bait him out, you can sneak around, you can hit a wall, and that should be enough to, like, bait him out. And you can go full Skyrim and, you know, sneak around and must have been the wind. And get the item. So here I'm just going to play Ring Around the Rosie here. Um, yeah. And then get the item from the chest. There's going to be a rune behind the chest as well. Make sure you guys don't aggro those blob looking things. Because they have a move. They have two. One, they like do a cartwheel. And the second one they do is shoot out shrapnel, shrapnel out of their bodies which does a lot of damage this is even it is kind of hard fighting them even in a game um, mostly because there's so many of them solo i think you can actually do like two hits with that sword that i have the god slayer great sword and i actually just stun them and you can get a repost on them so here i cut away just to pop the soul so you guys can see how many souls you get and uh, yeah that should be about it thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, see you next time. Let me know what else you want to see. Bye-bye.